What is up everybody? It's Thunder Chicken here. We're going to be doing some Defense Grid 2 today. Now, I played a couple of the levels. I was trying to record the prologue and everything, but it didn't really work out for me. Dog was barking. Uh, things were happening. So, didn't work out. But now we're going to be coming into it. It's actually a little bit better because I have kind of a little bit more of a grasp onto it. Still learning throughout the missions. We're unlocking more and more things. And we're getting a better grasp on the game, like I just said. So, without further ado, let's continue. Go to the story mode. So, reports of a new charging rhino alien type are coming in from this... Yeah, okay. So, new enemy. We're going to be coming with new towers. I spoke to the formicant after dropping into the void. It was clear that I had no choice. To know the enemy is essential. My middle stomach turns at the memory of its touch. It left a carrying reek in my mind. Enough! I will seek the void again after this report and cleanse myself. Our essential plan must not deviate, but now we can take into account the information I have gathered. The formicant said, leave us empty. Such madness. Formicants are hollow things until we make them as soul cases. We lift them from isolation and fill their void. So, why does this formican delay us? Not with a mad thrashing of wild creatures, but with ideas. Thoughts? I will draw it out and see what more I can learn. Shuttle landing in five. This area appears to be clear of aliens, Commander. At least for now. Maybe that was just a small scout team. Or the first wave of an invasion force. I do hope I'm wrong, but honestly, that so rarely happens. Not picking up the distress signal anymore. Perhaps we should send a response instead of waiting on our digital behinds. Mm, this is Advisor Zakara. Eliminate the aliens here. Then please find me immediately. Who was that? Is that the distress beacon? And what aliens? Wait, aliens inbound. Okay, so now we can. Oh. I might have fucked myself. Now, as you can see, we have resources, the cores are our health, and we have our identification of enemies at the top. So we get more resources with more enemies we kill, and we can use those to upgrade and build towers. Now, what I'm going to do is, by using the towers, we can kind of make a lane in which the enemies have to go through to get to our cores. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to make them do a loop. And then we'll go around and we'll build towers over here and go on and so forth. So it's pretty basic and, you know, with other tower defense games, it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, so then we can use, we can also use tower to boost, which is interesting. So I'm not going to deal with those right now, let's just deal with our basic one that we've been given. I don't really know what the height has to do with things. Um, maybe it gets a better shot at them, but... I found a new tower design on the local network. It is called a boost tower. It can block pathways, and yet you can still build towers on top of it. That could be useful. And, unfortunately, I also am detecting a new type of alien. Charge is like a rhinoceros, but slows down dramatically in the turn. So let's make it turn. A lot. Building boost towers might help with that. I like the way you think, Kai. And Commander, I also have a laser tower available to help with all enemies of speed. You're welcome. So we gotta make it turn, but... I mean, they're already... Mm. 
See, now this is where it's a problem. Is they're gonna go around, steal the quarters, they gotta go a full circle around, and they gotta get all the way back to there for them to deal damage to me. But if we can kill them before they get there, we get our health back. They come all the way back. They're our retraction. So that's the good thing where most traditional um, defense tower games are that they get to the end, that's your health being taken away. So that's the cool thing and something that we have to look forward to. But the more and more waves that are pushed upon us, the more and more different enemies and the other things that we have to account for are going to, you know, give us some difficulty towards the game. Now we can also build a, a path for them here. So let's do gun, gun. Ah, a core has been returned. Inferno, Inferno. Laser, laser, the cannons at the back because those can get further. And then we'll put another inferno here. So the loop slows them down, they have to take more damage. This is kind of an onslaught area, and then I guess, oh, we could have made them move through here. Huh. Which would take more time and I could do more damage. Uh, we'll see how the onslaught works out. If it doesn't work out, we'll change it up. I mean, we have 20 waves to deal with, so it's not necessarily going to be a problem. But it is pretty a fun game, I guess. It's relaxing, like most tower checks, you, just, you pop it on, you have the time to waste, and they're usually mobile, so having one on the Xbox isn't that bad, I mean, if you're waiting to download something else, hey, that's awesome, I can play the tower defense game and waste hours of time killing minions. So I don't even need to move them over here. I can still get these mods with the cat. So boost up the cannon. Awesome. It only seems like a couple of them are getting away. It seems like those new ones, I think. Four hundred to boost up the cannons. Thank God, a core has been returned safely. My question is, what happens when we run out of cores? Is it when they take the last core, that's us failing, or is it they have to return all those cores to the back of the base there? Also, another one is if they kind of hip hop cores back like if they get this far with the core and the next wave begins are they going to be able to grab that core and snatch it all the way back it's probably a possibility so we're going to have 800 here soon we can get away with upgrading these towers and not wasting a bunch of time and you know using resources because if we were to build right here, that would take away from the fact that they're doing damage. So, you kind of have to think about that. So, I'm going to keep mostly basic. Probably upgrade the outer towers because they're doing a lot more damage. And, like I said, they can be taken away without having an issue. We also do have a special weapon, which is kind of like a Hammer of Dawn, if any of you have played Gears. Probably everybody has played Gears here. So, it's a giant fucking, you know, laser beam.
I don't know how it tells us which wave we're on. This doesn't seem to be a scouting force, Commander. I wonder how many planets in this system they've infested. I believe I can answer that. All of them. Oh, she's got With a little bit of Australia. Did you send the distress call? You may address me as Zakara. I am an artificial intelligence life form and prime advisor to the Council on Takat. Identify yourself. Identify ourselves? Well, my name is. You're welcome. The commander is called. A little gratitude would be nice. And she's. Oh, for God's sake! When your solar system is on the brink of annihilation, menace become irrelevant. Ooh. A not completely unreasonable point, I suppose. Oh yeah, look at those yellow beans. Get him! So I mean, the game isn't very time consuming, but it doesn't take a lot of time to get built and do things. It also saves your checkpoints and everything, so that's an awesome time. You can just carry on whenever the hell you want. Ah, towers placed behind other towers will have a limited line of sight. So maybe that's where we can use those little, um, height towers to our advantage. Mm. And the less resources we spend, the more we get. However, each stolen core produces more of resources, which seems to be happening a lot. As they just raped my core. I think that's my spaceship. Nothing feels better than a core safely back in the tower. I don't know, not being killed by aliens, that seems like a, you know, an alright thing. So, if I want to, which I'm probably going to do, is we can call our little laser beam of death and kill a whole wave of them, but it takes a huge time to reload, if you will. So it's a last minute situation type deal. I got a thousand from them. Let's upgrade this one. Bam shalam. You gonna make me wait all day, or are we gonna get started? Oh my, oh my. They're gonna make us wait. Those towers they go way far. They don't really do so good of damage, but whatever works, works, right? Get those cores back home. We'll get a little second to rethink. And then we'll get on the move again. So I'm gonna try not spending as many resources. We'll see how far that goes. Our pelts in these guys pretty hard. And the last wave looks like it's gonna be all of those rhino guys. So we're just gonna. Oh, so that's how we see our power up at the very top in between the resources and ports. So that's when we can use our power up next. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to save that for the last one. All of our cores back home. Yeah. 
This is just like an achievement getter. I played this for one match and I got like 20 achievements. It was nuts. So if you're an achievement whore of any type, I mean, this is where they are. Plus, for the price, you can't go wrong. It's free right now on Xbox. Alright, so let's upgrade both of these. And then... Probably upgrade these two. Alright, here's the back one. Those laser turns are awesome. Does damage afterwards, so. Can we upgrade these two? No, so red is the final one we can do. You know, I can't complain about that. I'm gonna have to wait for 800 for that one. Let's upgrade that. Some more damage going on. Upgrading these slowly. And we can use our power up for next round, so we're going to be able to get through that one a little bit easier. Most time I say we're probably gonna have an easy time. <laughs> we will upgrade this one once more, upgrade that, upgrade that, upgrade that, and then we'll wait for the wave to begin. And apparently a lot of waiting. <laughs> Alright. That was our first little blast. Now we have to wait and see everything die. Congratulations, Commander. We did it. Yes, well done. But now we must return me to Tiket immediately. My readings tell me that's the furthest planet in the system. It is. After I was taken by the aliens, they held me for some time. I was able to escape into the network when they brought me to this mining facility. I must return. Well, I understand that, but we have passengers. They come first. What's the closest planet, General Kai? Kirish is the closest colony. There will be aliens there as well. 
And I believe that's exactly why we are headed there. Well, if you are determined to fight, allow me to provide additional assistance. How exactly? If you'd like, I can reprogram the Endurance's orbital laser and allow it to overcharge towers it hits instead. They'll do extra damage for a period nice. of time. Nice. That could come in handy. Something definitely to consider. Shall we battle on, Commander?